Hi, uh, perhaps uh, you have been wondering how to save data you receive from the Arduino board uh, to a text file and uh, use it later for analysis or uh, creating a graph. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, well, first of all, uh, we cannot use uh, the standard serial monitor that we get with the Arduino IDE because it doesn't support uh, saving the output. We need something different uh, and in my opinion the best program for this purpose is uh, is cool term. It was created by uh, Roger Meyer and you can download it uh, for free from his uh, website. It uh, supports as you can see different platforms and uh, what's more you don't even have to install it on your computer you just download the uh, the archive, unpack it, and it's ready to use. Uh, this is the main window of the of uh, cool term, and in order to establish connection, you have to select uh, the serial port you are using, the baud rate. Uh, then, uh, well, you might also check this box to add timestamps to the data you receive. Oh, and by the way, here is also an option for something uh, well uh, for doing something opposite so you can create a text file with uh, some lines of let's say uh, G code and then send it to the Arduino board uh, well there are many different uses for it and uh, I think that you can probably uh, come up with a few ideas but it's nice that uh, it has this uh, feature um, anyway as you can see um, the program is uh, currently uh, working it receives serial data from the Arduino board and uh, it's uh, saving it to uh, a text file here you have an option capture the text file and well I already selected it and uh, here we have uh, temperature then there is a coma and then uh, here we have absolute pressure uh, I created a simple sketch that uses uh, a Bosch uh, pressure sensor, which, uh, by the way, is uh, is very very nice because it's uh, very precise, and it also has a temperature sensor in it. Um, well, as you can see here, I send uh, a temperature val value, then uh, a coma, and then pressure value. Okay, um, this is what the file. Uh, the output file looks like. Here we have date, then time, then temperature, coma, and finally absolute pressure. Now, um, you might be wondering how to uh, use this data uh, in any meaningful way. Well, you can uh, upload it into, into a spreadsheet. It's uh, actually very, very easy to do. You just select data, then from text, select the file, import and here we also have to specify uh, mm, well a, a delimiter that will divide automatically the file into uh, different um, uh, columns okay as you can see we have three columns uh, date and time then temperature and finally uh, absolute pressure well you can pretty much see how it works and basically it's uh, it's ready now um, I will show you how to uh, well use this um, how useful can it be sorry how how useful it can be um, well let's create a, a simple a simple graph mm, well let's say this one oh here you can see uh, how the temperature changes uh, well in my house well, it's uh, a lot easier to understand the data if you plot it in this way okay um, I hope that some of you found it useful um, well bye